I think that this is one of the biggest pieces of news in the entire year. Claude launched a way for us to get past the tyranny of the prompt. And I worked out a way to use that same technique outside Claude in ChatGPT and Gemini and other places. We're going to dive into the whole thing. But the first piece I want you to realize is that everything has been prompt dependent and that has made hard work really difficult. Basically, if you want to do something complicated like a PowerPoint or an Excel or a full financial analysis, it's possible, but it's really been prompt dependent. And anything we can do that makes it slightly easier, slightly less dependent on the prompt is a really big deal because it makes it so much easier for so many more people to do that hard work. That is what we got today from Claude. It's called the skills launch. And the idea is that you have these composable Lego bricks. They're called capabilities in your settings section. I'm gonna show you here in a second. And all you have to do is enable capabilities that Claude can call in any conversation, in any combination. And so I'll give you a specific example. One of the things that has been difficult for people to do with AI has been a complicated task like figuring out a job search strategy. So let's say you need to identify candidate job postings. You need to compose a resume that fits those job postings. You need to make sure that your search strategy actually works for those jobs, that your targeting strategy works for outreach. This is complicated work. Normally, it would take a lot of prompts. It would take many prompts in a row. Some people sign up for tools and services for this. What you can do with Claude is you can make skills that refer to this complicated work and give Claude special instructions to do it well. Like your job search strategy could instruct Claude specifically what sites you prefer, what job family and roles you prefer, what levels you prefer, what compensation you want. And all of that would be stored inside this Lego brick of context that Claude can go and call, not when you have to tag it, you don't have to remember it. You just have to say, hey, I'm trying to think about what job search strategy I should use for this week and then give it some context about your last few weeks, your learnings, help me figure it out. Claude will look at that initial prompt, understand you're talking about job search and go dig up a skill and use it on the fly. It's super intuitive. And the magical thing is because of the way they've simplified the, the file structure, the Lego brick, it's just a markdown file. You can use this other places. And that's what I figured out. So I'm gonna show you that too. You can use it in ChatGPT and Gemini. And what this does is it makes the whole process of doing a difficult, complicated, multi-step piece of work so much easier. And so this is not just a story about, can we make PowerPoints easier? Can we make Excel easier? Can we make job search easier? It's a story about, can we do hard work with much less effort? It's like Claude gave us a lever, a 10X lever on our prompting. And so without further ado, I'm gonna jump in. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is sort of the, the settings page, how this actually looks when you, when you sign up for it. But we won't spend much time there. We're gonna spend most of our time diving into how you create these because the magic of this is that you are not locked in to whatever the Anthropic and Claude team give you. You can make these yourself and I can make them for you. And I have, I'm making them for you. It's so exciting because we can basically make these big packages that help us to effectively do lots and lots of complex work. Another example is vendor, AI vendor risk estimation, AI vendor build by solution estimates, super complicated work. You can have a skill for that now. You don't have to write a gigantic prompt in the same way you did. You can just say, hey, please assess this vendor and it will call the skill. It will be so much more intuitive. I'm so excited for this. All right. So with that in mind, let's check out that Claude capability screen. Okay, here we are. We are looking at the skills that are in Claude now. This is my Claude, and I want to show you that there are both standard skills and custom skills here. Standard skills, you're going to see brand guidelines, canvas design, MCP builder. These are all skills that Claude provides for us as a way of getting this whole ecosystem started. I created prompting pattern library, and it says so, added by me, right, 59 minutes ago. And it says what it is, and it's basically a file of prompting best practices so that if I talk about how I want to create a great prompt, it will just invoke prompting pattern library and make that so much easier. This is super easy to enable. All you have to do is just enable the skill section at the top and then enable these toggles piece by piece down here and you're done. All right. I want to show you an actual skill that I'm building. 
So I said, Claude, can you help me build a skill for strategizing job search? And I want you to note that this is not the world's best prompt. And I did that on purpose. I wanted to call out that it's possible to build a good skill and it doesn't have to be perfect. The prompt doesn't have to be perfect. So I, I just laid out a bunch of things that I wanted, guidance on how to interview the user, how to target the job, et cetera. And so Claude then starts to think about how to create skills. And it turns out that one of the things that Anthropic released, which I think is really smart, is documentation for Claude on creating skills. So Claude read the instruction manual for creating these, this skill and then came back and said, this is really great. I see this. I have some questions. Here's some questions about how I should analyze the company's news, strategies that are most important, et cetera. I came back with a response. I gave it some examples. I had an LLM help me build some of this. And then it said, great, excellent details. I'm gonna start building. And so it has now spent the last five or so minutes building this skill, and it comes back with a job search strategist zip file. It's a complete skill, done. It's as easy as that. I can now download this zip file and re-upload it to Claude in the capabilities section and I will have a usable job search strategist skill. Now, if I wanna make it better, which is always one of the things I focus on, I always think about how I can evaluate this skill through the lens of another LLM. And so I can take this skill over to ChatGPT and I can say, hey, can you just crack open this zip file, look inside, and can you assess whether or not this is high quality and make specific recommendations for how to improve it? And then I can pull that ChatGPT critique bring it back into Claude and have Claude further improve the skill. So I'm not just sitting here taking what Claude gives me. I'm actually trying to use a multi LLM strategy to make this skill as useful as I possibly can. Now let's jump over to ChatGPT and I'll show you how I can use a skill that I developed in Claude for Claude in ChatGPT. All right, here we are in ChatGPT. You see that I've uploaded a zip file. This is literally the exact same zip file that I would upload if I was in Claude. I am uploading it per chat because that's how ChatGPT works. And all I say is using this file, can you help me come up with a really strong prompt for instructing an LLM to build a PowerPoint? You'll need to crack open the file to do so. So it opens the file and it immediately comes up with a very strong PowerPoint. I don't have to give it all of this. It reads it in the file. And so look, I love the cloud interface. It's very intuitive for it to call in the skills. I think that's a lovely touch but I can use the exact same files in a chat GPT chat and get a great result. I can use them in a Gemini chat and get a great result. And nobody is talking about that. Nobody is saying that really what has been invented is a way of working with AI that gives you composable Lego bricks. I think that's fantastic. And so you can just pop this in and all you have to do is build the ones you want. And I gave you some of those tips on how you build them. You literally just say what you want and work with Claude to build it and Claude has the skill creation, and you could do the same thing with ChatGPT, to be honest. You can say, I want you to create a markdown file. The markdown file needs to be a complete, clear set of instructions to help a LLM accomplish a very complex task. In addition, please create these other file types that help the LLM do the task. If it's an analysis uh, file, you may wanna give the LLM some specific instructions about how to analyze, et cetera. And then you put it all together into a zip file, and you're done and you have your skill. And you can upload that and say, hey, refer to this skill. This is how I like things done. You might be wondering now, what things should be skills? What things should be skills? The answer is quite simple. If it is something that you would want to onboard someone with, let's say you have an employee and you want to onboard them and train them, super easy. Just give them a skill. That's what this is for. That's the level we're at. If it's a one-off task, if you're not gonna repeat it, if it's not very high value, don't do a skill. It's just too much trouble. But if it's something where it's like, no, I'm gonna be doing this repeatedly, if I had someone doing this for me, I would give them some training, I would give them some onboarding materials, that's when you need the skill. And the beauty of the whole ecosystem is that we can all just like create the skills and trade them around and they'll grow. And I think that that is part of what makes this so powerful is that it's not locked into Anthropic. People will come up with ways to use these exact files and other interfaces. I guarantee that people will come up with ways to use these exact same cloud skills, folders and files in a dozen other tools in the next month because they're so powerful. So I'm really excited about this. If you are asking me, what is the catch? Where do I need to be careful? I would tell you this, we were using the skills before we knew they existed. So when I did my video on Excel, when I did my video on PowerPoint, 
Claude was using those skills. And what I found in practice weeks ago and since, as I've been working with those tools daily, is that even though the skills are like a massive 10x step up in helping you get stuff done, I re like watch the video on PowerPoints. Like it creates incredible PowerPoints that save days of work. Like it's a, it's a phenomenal job. You still need to prompt well. It does not get you away from prompting well when you do serious work. Prompting well is like giving this massive, cool skill package clear direction. And so it doesn't have to be as long a prompt, but it has to be very clear and unambiguous about where you want to take all of this power, all of this context you've got. So that's, if you want to catch, that's the catch. You still got to be clear in what you're asking for, but you don't have to be as lengthy as you used to have to be. Like if I had to do a complicated piece of work, like the job search thing, I would honestly not even do it in one chat. I would just do it in multiple chats, right? And you ask for this, and then you ask for this, and then you ask for this, like help me with my resume, help me with my job search, et cetera. And you have to sort of reinvent the prompt and reinvent the context every time. The power of this is you can do that much more complicated work in a much less heavy lift way. That is why I call them super prompts, because it's like we've taken this load that we've all had to carry for prompting for so long, and it's like lifted it. It's like, yes, you still have to be clear, it's good to be clear about what you want. It's good to bring your specific context, bring that specific job description, right? Br bring the specific experience you have that nobody else has, right? But you don't have to carry as heavy a load on just explaining everything in exhaustive detail as you used to have to. And that is a huge breakthrough for all of us. I am so excited for that. So I'm putting together a whole set of Claude skills that you can use in ChatGPT and Gemini. You can use them in Claude, of course. I can't wait to show them to you. I'll have them out with this video on the Substack. It's gonna be great. We are just at the beginning of this and I wanna give you like a great get started pack so you're off to the races on using Claude skills. Have fun with your new super prompting powers.